Welcome back to module number 12. In this topic, we look into ACL principles and configuration. Let's look into the content. We have three chapters in this module. First, we look into ACL overview. What exactly is ACL? Let's look into the background in this diagram. Here we have our network. As you can see that I have an internet. Then I also have a VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. And at the same time, I have a router and I also have a financial department server, which is 192.168.4.4. Here, we have some requirement. To ensure financial data security, okay, so this is where my financial department is, an enterprise prohibit the R&D department, which is research and development department, access to the financial department server but allow the president office access to financial department server. So if you are the president, you do allow to go into the financial department, but if you are R&D, then you are not allowed to go to the financial department. Now at the same time, you notice that we also have a cross here. If you are the user from internet, you are not allowed to go into any of our server, regardless whether it's R&D, president or the financial department. The question is, how are you going to achieve this type of filtering? So we need to have a tools for us to control all this traffic. And the tools is ACL. So ACL, the full name is called Access Control List. All right, so this is a tools uh, that will help us to do the filtering. So an ACL is a set of sequential rules Sequential means that it is in order and composed of permit or deny statement. So it contains statement that allow or deny the packet. So an ACL matches and distinguishes packet. The packet have the header. So example here, I have the IP source and destination and the protocol type in the layer number three and I also have source destination on the port, uh, which is on the TCP slash UDP header. We can construct an ACL based on this information to either permit or deny. So one of it is actually matching IP traffic, but ACL also have many uses. That include invoke in traffic filter. This is very common. We use ACL to filter traffic. So first we match, then we filter. ACL also will use a network address translation because it's mesh. So once it's mesh, you can deny to do translate or mesh to allow to do translation. We also use ACL to uh, in our routing policy, in our firewall policy. We also use ACL in QoS, which means that if I have a packet that match the criteria, I can give them a very low bandwidth or high bandwidth if let's say this is a VIP and ACL also can use for other environment or application as well. 